In other news, one of ADV's own, Yenta Liu, which is the original executive producer and presenter of 15 on 15, has recently been hired to cover the Lamar Odom story. To refresh you on the story, the two-time NBA champion and former reality star of Chloe and Lamar was found unconscious at the brothel in Nevada in a suspected drug overdose. Here is Yentl with the story. Good evening to all the ATV viewers. I'm Yentl Liu reporting to you straight from Las Vegas. Now, I'm sure you've been aware the media has been all over the Lamar Odom story, which happened in Nevada. I am currently standing right here in the room where it all took place and where he was discovered on his bed unconscious by Richard Hunter, the media relations manager here at the ranch. Now, for more information, I will give it to you later on in the show. But for now, this is Yentl reporting to you straight from Las Vegas. Now, back to the station. Thank you, Yentl. We'll have more on the story later on the show. Thank you for staying tuned to 15 on 15. A story that has hit front pages internationally is a two-time NBA champion Lamar Odom suspected drug overdose. Our former colleague Yento Liu has a story for us straight out of the source from Panrup, Nevada. Lamar Odom, the two-time NBA champion and former reality TV star of Chloe and Lamar on E! was found unconscious at a brothel in Nevada in a suspected drug overdose. Khloe Kardashian is still legally married to Lamar Odom and is making all medical decisions for him at this time. Odom is currently at the Sunrise Hospital in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, this is Yen Tolu, and I have been relocated to Las Vegas and am currently working for Extra in order to cover the story in Las Vegas. I was able to drive down to the brothel where Odom was discovered unconscious and speak to Richard Hunter, who is the media relations manager at the local branch. He states that Mr. Odom arrived alone and spent some time socializing with the girls and staff, but he mostly kept to himself. He was polite, according to them, and reserved, but he told most employees that he was there to get privacy and time to relax. From Saturday, October 10th to the 13th, Lamar Odom spent $75,000 at the Love Ranch brothel. No drugs are allowed on the premise, but Richard informed me that their customers are not searched prior to checking in so Mr. Odom could have brought it along with him. Lamar also took a significant amount of a certain type of sex enhancement drug together with some cognac during the four-day period. That is something that Richard Hunter was able to confirm. Mr. Hunter also says that prior to the 911 call, he contemplated on giving Lamar Odom CPR, but because the basketball player was still breathing, he waited to ask the 911 operator whom advised against it. Lamar Odom is surrounded by friends and family at Sunrise Hospital. If I'm able to give you any further update, I will. And signing out right here from Las Vegas, Nevada, this is Yentl Liu for 15 on 15. Thank you very much to Yentl for covering the story for us and keeping Aruba updated on all the crucial details.